In this video, we'll look at shortcuts you can use in an Excel table. Excel tables are one of Excel's most powerful features for working with data. To create a table, just select a cell in the data and use Control T. New tables have filters enabled. To toggle filters, use Control Shift L in Windows, Command Shift F on a Mac. A number of shortcuts for selecting cells take advantage of the table structure. You can select an entire table using Select All, that's Control A on Windows, Command A on a Mac. The first time you'll get just the table data, and the second time will include the column headers. You can select a table row using Shift Space and a table column with Control Space. Both shortcuts work with multiple cells selected. Insert rows and columns with Control Shift Plus in Windows and Control I on a Mac. Inserted rows go below the selection. and inserted columns go to the left. Delete rows and columns in a table with Control minus. Tables have very good support for drag and drop. I can select one or more rows, then drag directly to a new location. This is also a good way to duplicate rows in a table. Just select the rows you want to copy, and drag with the Control key down in Windows or Option key on a Mac. When a table has filters, you can activate a filter using Alt plus down arrow. In Windows, you get a few more shortcuts once you have an open filter. You can jump directly to the search box by typing E. You can tab into the values area and use the up and down arrow keys to navigate, and then toggle the checkboxes with the spacebar. When a filter is active in a column, you can clear it with Alt, down arrow, and C. Finally, you can sort A to Z with S and Z to A with O. When you have several columns filtered and you want to reset all filters at once, just toggle filters off and then on again. This is really a handy way to make sure that you're looking at all data.